And I think everyone innately is a change maker. Everyone has the power to do something incredible. And it's just whether, like when that idea is going to come out and when they are truly going to embrace that part of themselves. And I think, why wait? Hello, my name is Charlotte Rosario. I go by she, her pronouns. I go to the Nueva school and I am currently in ninth grade. To me, change maker really just means someone who, I mean, going by what the word <laughs> entails, it's someone who wants to, I would say it's someone who wants to, cha to change the world quite literally. And someone who wants to solve a problem, whether that's big or small, I would also say it's someone who is a risk taker and is willing to go out of their way to help others. I think in order to get things done, you do have to do things that seem relatively scary or seem like a lot of work because I believe that the scarier or the more daunting something is, the more amazing the outcome will probably be. I think the biggest thing that everyone should, uh, any kid that's thinking of, you know, taking on a project is to not be intimidated whatsoever. There are so many things about a big project that can be intimidating, whether that's, you know, the level of work or, you know, talking with adults or, you know, having to send out an email to families that, you don't necessarily feel comfortable contacting because you know you're embarrassed. I think it's important to not be intimidated by taking doing what you love and pursuing a passion. To schools out there in San Mateo County, I think it's important that everyone sees the big picture right now. And it's really important that kids understand the urgency of climate change and to quite literally like feel the pressure of climate change on their shoulders. I think prioritizing the environment is something we all must do now. I mean, just thinking about five, like a few years ago, I don't remember it being this much of an issue now. I mean, I just the other day I was driving on the freeway and just there's a huge, you know, screen saying severe drought, save water. So I think climate change is truly a part of our lives. It is everywhere now. And I think it's encouraging climate action in the classroom too. And it doesn't have to be that obvious when you integrate, uh, you know, climate action or climate change awareness. I mean, even if there's a way to change the curriculum, to focus more on problem solving around the environment, uh, word problems and math that involve uh, environmental issues, and also just making sure kids have a chance to discuss these issues. I, um, I remember in middle school, we had an opportunity on Green Day to all come together as a class and just talk about climate change. And I, for me, it was really incredible to hear what other people had to say and to hear about other areas I, I wasn't familiar with in climate change. And then I'm sure for other kids, it was also really eye-opening to hear from other people's perspectives because, I mean, a lot of times our lives are so fast paced moving that we don't get a chance to sit down and just talk about the issue. So to schools and uh, you know, people who are in charge of curriculum at school, I think it's very important that we get kids talking about the issue and doing things, doing things about it.